This paper is about direct-to-consumer genetic testing and whether genetic counselling fits as part of the package on offer by companies. Research has shown us that people react differently to different sorts of genetic testing. So the SNP-based genome-wide um, direct-to-consumer genetic testing have often showed no increase in psychological distress from customers. But research has also shown us that testing for really serious, potentially life-threatening cancer syndromes has produced severe psychological distress in some customers, and they have found the support offered by the web-based companies to be severely lacking. We looked at the websites of direct-to-consumer genetic testing companies um, available on an internet search and available to uh, European-based customers. And we interrogated these websites to look for the information that uh, might be available about the psychological impact of the tests on offer. And we found in most cases what was not on offer was genetic counselling as would be described by the professional organisations that represent genetic counsellors. Um, in some of the sites, they acknowledged that genetic counselling would be useful to people, but signposted customers to external organisations. For some of these companies, they offered information and educational resources um, as a form of support. But we would argue that this doesn't really replace um, the need and the value that genetic counselling can offer. Genetic counselling is not a one-way process of information delivery. It's a, a two-way dialogue um, where there is discussion, and empathy and really tailor-making of information and support to the individual. What we're not suggesting is that genetic counsellors have to gatekeep access to all direct-to-consumer genetic tests, but what we are suggesting is that genetic counselling should be available pre- and post-test, particularly for genetic testing for serious life-threatening conditions, because it may be that prior to the test people don't actually anticipate they'll have any psychological fallout, but it's when they get the results that they realise they are reacting in different ways to what they imagined, and the genetic counsellor can really help them with that.